there's a threat in the world today. A threat to our way of living, a threat to our society, and maybe even a threat to our very existence. And what is this threat? IndyCar. That was a good was race a good last race. week. That was a good race last week. So uh, I did a, a little more looking week. into. Uh, and I like that track. Barber Motorsport. They have a museum. Did you yeah. did you look into that at all? Well, I didn't did look into it. I, I, I knew they had a museum there. That's where a lot of kind of his cool trinkets and stuff like that okay. are. And then did you happen to see the Dorothy hmm. hanging on? No. Goodness, I saw. I pointed it out. We were watching the race, and I paused the race. There it is. There. You could see it as they they pan the the uh, camera going through there. I thought it was really cool. Uh, that is definitely a track I want to uh, to catch. It's not too far from here, um, so uh, hopefully maybe here sometime in the the future we'll get out there. I don't see. I mean they've been at that track for a while now. I don't see anything happening there where they're gonna gonna pull out of that and not race there anymore. So yeah, but I mean all in all that that, that was a good race. Uh... Once again, you know, Takuma Sato drove a, a very impressive race. Uh, did, did you see uh, when they were interviewing Dave Letterman? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he's got the full beard going right. on. Oh, yeah. But uh, it went from his head to his, yeah, to his chin. Yeah, I, I have the same problem. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I, like I said, the Barber, Sport, Barber Motorsports Park is, is an awesome facility and great to watch a race there. And, uh, I look forward to next year's race there. Oh yeah, yeah it looked really cool, like where the the people were sitting under the trees. Oh yeah, it's like I just picture myself getting there, just butt crack of dawn, and 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 that's and why I like the road course races, especially from a fan aspect. Find yourself a hill and go find you a spot. <laughs> I mean, like uh, you know, Road America. I've actually raced up there. I haven't been to an Indy car race. I'd love to go to an Indy car race up there, but there's so many spots around the track and just the scenery and the trees and. You know, at one point we were coming down the back stretch, and there was a turkey walking across the track. Because I, you know, I got up there, I was like, "Is that what? What is that?" <laughs> and I'm getting close. Like, oh, my crap, coffee that's a turkey. <laughs> so you know, you're you're trying to make sure you don't hit the turkey. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, Mid Ohio, same way. Uh, y- you go to the road course races, and then there's you know a lot more. You don't have to just sit in one spot and watch the race from there. You can move around if you want to. Right. No, exactly. Yeah, it's, uh, th- that kind of, and, and I guess the Grand Prix here at Indy mm-hmm. is sitting uh, up on the hills. Be, could be similar to that. Yeah, yeah. But those hills get so crowded. At least they Barber, do. Barber they do. seems like it was kind of more spread out at least. So. Well, I remember for the the hundredth running of the five hundred. You know, usually every year we get tickets and you know have a seat and all that stuff. Well, we we didn't get tickets that. Year. Well, we did get tickets, but they weren't in seats. So you were sitting on people's laps. We were in. Uh, <laughs> we were in the fourth turn on the hill right there and yeah it was it was packed yeah I know but you know I do that. hey i'm not complaining i still you know, gotta see the race right. i was at the 100th running of the indy 500 yep. so what's up g pal travis crosby's in the house fellas i like it it's all like that fellas <laughs> <laughs> it's strong fellas g pal's gangster i bet oh fellas, fellas. fellas. That's, 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 Two yeah, points. he's legit. That was a button. So, uh, <laughs> where's IndyCar at this week? Long Beach, baby. Streets of Long Streets Beach. Streets of Long Beach. I yep. like it. I what? like a good street racer. It reminds me of karting. Shoreline Drive, is that the straightaway? I think so. Yeah, I thought that's what they were saying. The, the, the little trip around the fountain right there, that gets that's pretty sweet. tight right in there, you know. <laughs> uh, Rossi was last year's winner, and he's on the pole for this year's race. Yep. I know you like him. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's, I know. it's hard. I mean, it, it, I believe he's from California. Yeah, it is. I mean, this is home, a hometown home track. track. Uh, I mean, he's ran it fantastic. I think, uh, and and really, he's one of those guys. I mean, he's been up front. He's He's been there, but he just hasn't been able to. I mean, last year at this time, he had two wins. So, uh Maybe he gets maybe he gets that first one today. He might. This he is, might. Is, but you got to figure, you know, you, you look at last year versus this year. Competition to me, I think it's a little bit stiffer this much year. Much stiffer. I mean. Much stiffer. You, 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 and you're even taking the Penske cars out of the equation because 
they they haven't been real impressive this year besides new garden but uh you, there again you look at the rookies coming in you know colton hurt has already got a win under his belt um pat award coming from pat awards running good uh rosenquist running good Ferrucci. erickson ferrucci i mean yeah there's there's stiff competition on the track in indycar this year it's, right. it's it's not just an easy win no no not at all and uh and and like we kind of mentioned a little little there bit you ago, go sean Mike Kanowski's been to Mid-Ohio race the last six years. You can hook up with him, and you guys can go to Mid-Ohio. I want to go out there this year. You going? Let me know. I might uh, do my paperwork with Mr. Hanowski. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if that drives you nuts. Just that, tell me. That doesn't sound right. That doing, it's paperwork. Doing paperwork, that sounds like it's code for something. Well, <laughs> you never know. Well, I don't know Mr. Hanowski yet. <laughs> we'll get to know each other. Maybe it will be code. You so, never know. But, but speaking of the, the Penske team, um, Will Power is struggling, man. Yeah, and and I don't know because the the, uh, the St. Pete race, I think it was, when was that when he had the gearbox issue? That was Coda, I believe. Was that Coda? Okay, so I don't know if that was on him, but it seems he's the one that spun it last week too, didn't he? And, yeah. Uh, so, and, I mean, that's n nobody's fault but your own. I mean, you got Ansi going into – so I don't know. I and mean – I know he, he had uh, – you know, they were interviewing Will Power before the season started, and he was talking about how he was trying to get uh, his DNFs down but from yes. last yep. year. Well, buddy, uh, unfortunately, you're not really improving on I those did. stats from last year, and I I'm not saying it's your fault. Uh, you, you know, the spin, I will say, is your fault, but, I mean, oh, as yeah, far as a mechanical you. failure, I'm not – you know, you can't blame that on him. Um. You know, and anybody that's been in racing and had some stupid 50 cent part break on you, you know, that at Friday afternoon part, you, you can't. <laughs> no, not necessarily. I mean, like, uh, I remember at Mid Ohio, speaking of Mid Ohio kart racing over there one time in the Enduros, you know, I'm running second, run the leader down, you know, and I, I had a pretty good position in second, wasn't really nobody behind me or anything like that. And, uh, pipe cradle broke. And it was the bolt just snapped and my pipe came off and was laying back there and I had to pull it in. You know, there's nothing that you can really. Sometimes luck does. I mean, it plays into it. Yeah. I yeah. can't remember. I think it was Mark I was talking to out at uh, uh, Ingalls. Yeah. And he was, was, it, was he around when you were carting? Uh, Would he have seen you cart or was that Scott? Well, uh, no, Scott wasn't around. Scott didn't cart. Matt, who was no. it that I was talking to out there? Somebody said, it was like, man, Chris, he had the speed. He had everything. He could drive it. But he'd just get caught up in the worst luck, man. He's <laughs> like, there'd be a wreck. He'd be he'd be in first. There'd be a guy two laps down, and he, he'd be coming around, and that guy spin out and take Chris with him. <laughs> oh, he, he might have been talking about RC racing. Oh, okay, okay, we, okay. I we thought he was talking that, cart, and I got no, you. We were I got probably, you. probably talking about RC racing. But still, I mean, racing, you, you, bad luck. And yeah, sometimes yeah. luck is I mean, not luck, in your favor. Luck definitely plays a factor when it comes to racing. But, um, so, yeah, Will Power's been struggling. Um, you know, even though Rossi got the pull, Dixon's been bad fast all weekend long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he led a couple of the practice sessions. Um, they don't call him the Iceman for nothing. No, I, I agree with that. But uh, there is his teammate kind of uh, had a little rough problems there at uh, um, qualifications and everything. Yeah. Uh, locked it up there he, he had a couple rookie rookie mistakes there i saw what he said and i'm excited i hope i can go <laughs> good morning mr brent schwartz thank morning, you for buddy. joining that's my filter rep oh okay that is my filter rep that's tommy boy's filter rep oh uh, callahan <laughs> auto parts <laughs> yeah that's <yeah. laughs> some good quality callahan air filters folks <laughs> you know that i i want to use the Zelensky motto so bad i <laughs> i sell parts to the american working man because that's who i am <laughs> but that's that's not tommy boy that's Zelensky. yeah that's that. Zelensky. <laughs> i want to use it so bad so yeah but uh here, here's here's something i want to talk about on the indycar thing um you know the group qualifying it, it's been several races now where there's been a red flag situation and and guys get screwed if you will on qualifying so i i think you're going to start seeing more and more of guys going out when that qualifying session starts and trying to put down a flyer right off the giddy up and trying to get them into the next group of qualifying because like 
I know um, what was it in the first group? Hinchcliffe. Was it Hinch? Erickson. Uh, Rosenquist, I think. Because uh, PK tried to tear the wall down <laughs> and it was done. I like how you put that. Because he, he did. He came in there hot. Man. Oh, he, man. He tried he to tear it that. down. <laughs> I think IndyCar radio team, hey, TK, uh, we need you to test the uh, strength of that wall. Right? <laughs> okay. Boom. <laughs> yeah, he did too. That's so, good. So, yeah, I, I don't know if I, I, I like this group qualifying just for that simple fact. You know, if you get the red flag situation, and if a guy has a problem where he has to come in the pits and change something real quick, you know, say if he gets a flat or, you know, whatever, he he's kind of screwed. Right. So I, I you have to uh, do something. But, yeah, but, like, uh, I mean, we talked about it before as far as, uh, I mean, you can't send these guys out single file. I mean, we uh, – I, I was commenting on our checkers and records. That was me. That? Oh, that's you? Yeah. You know, okay. I'm doing it all over here, dude. I got the setup. I'm nailing it. I was it. like, hold on. Yeah, We're right here. Who's I'm not coming. Well, I mean, Michael's talking about hanging out with AJ at Mid-Ohio. I'm kind of interested. Right oh, okay. Now. Um, but uh, getting back to IndyCar, uh, Pat Ward, we spoke on him a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. Man, he was bad, fast, and qualifying. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you what. Uh, Carlin wasn't really a name that we heard before in the past, and I, I finally got the name right. I'm right. keeping it. Um, but, uh, man, these new, these, and I don't know if he's a new owner, so I apologize, but these, these owners that we're not used to hearing are starting to put together some cars that are, that are being competitive. And we got Steinbrenner out there. I mean, this is his, his first year, obviously with heard of driving. They got a win already. Now, is that more because <clears throat> everybody's around the same chassis? So does that kind of level the playing field out a bit if you will yeah but i mean everybody's been running the delara since what 2012 yeah so i I mean it hasn't necessarily been i mean we've had the the ganassi penske and andretti i mean most of the time since now we got ray hall they're they're on fire again so you're saying it's the caliber of driver it could be that or maybe they're they're higher maybe it's the engineers maybe it's the guys behind the scenes that they're saying hey we got to do something because You know, maybe it's not. Those, those are the guys that don't get talked about a lot. Exactly. So I, I maybe it's these guys, you know, putting together the motor, putting together the suspension, putting together all that stuff that's given these, these, um, I'm trying to think of a. Uh, Rookie to, drivers? No, uh, like, saw, and, and nothing against the guy, but he's not a top tier guy. He's, he's a, he's a midfield racer. He's, he's a great racer. He's top. He's Yeah. You he's, know, he come from formula one. Did, no, I did not know. Yeah. Okay. So, but I mean, with. He, he's a, he's a midfield guy and, and but he's he's in the top he's in the 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 top field of his his sport so i'm not bad mouthing at all so you know sato is that driver to where if if he can get his mindset and focus like he did last weekend he can drive i mean there's no doubt about it but like you know the comment mr hanowski made earlier that pretty much sums it up. Right. But in like I guess saying that, so you get the the engineer back there that's putting together that good car, you give that midfield driver that little that that car that's just a little bit better and you step that driver up. I mean, I really think so. Look at the 1992 F1 uh uh gear there. That that season with um Williams I believe that was the year they they had all the electronic suspension, everything like that. I kept in that car and won. Oh well, yeah, and eventually all the teams went to the electronics like that, and then they, you know, right. But that's them. that's what I'm saying. So that engineer you gave uh, an average driver, he's a he's well, a world, you still have to be able to drive, right? But I mean, that car Williams is an exception. But I'm saying like with maybe Ray Hall Letterman, maybe they do have somebody back in the the back that's putting that car together just a hair better. And given that that average driver just a a little uh, advantage there on New Garden, on Pagano, on on power, on those guys. Well, but you know, I, I wouldn't say that any driver in any car is an average driver. I get, when I said that, I meant in Indy car in the series. No, because yeah, you're up in Indy car. You're you're the best driver in the world. But well, Formula One. Well, I'm saying in, the in the, that series. Sorry, but you're. Uh, uh, you're Kamikaze. an average. You're an average driver in that series. You're you're a mid pack driver in that series. So that's what I meant on that. Not 
like I said, I'm not bad now. Like he's gonna knock my wheels off any time I'd raise. Right. Doesn't matter where. <laughs> okay, and then uh, getting to your uh, comment here on Mike Landretti getting upset with the other owners for not being more involved in Indy Lights. Yeah. Well, you know what? I completely disagree with what Mike Landretti's saying. Okay, let's because Indy Lights is a feeder series. So to me, I don't want the Penske's and Ganassi's and teams like that in Indy Lights. Indy Lights is designed for your drivers to come up through the ranks and teams too. You know, you get like uh, Schmidt Peterson. You know, I believe they started out in Indy Lights before they had an IndyCar team. I could be wrong on that. I'm not 100% sure. But I, I would rather see the smaller team owners in Indy Lights. You know, you get the Penske's and Ganassi's and, you know, you already have Andretti in there. It's going to be a smaller series of what you already have going on in IndyCar. But with that, I guess, because the way I look at it, with having Andretti there, if if you were to have Penske in there and, and that, that bankroll, if you will, maybe you are able to progress the drivers a little better. Because Pat Award came from an Andretti car. So maybe having that Andretti backing his his time in Indy Lights made him a better driver going up into the the next I year. don't know if it made him a better driver it might have made him a little bit more prepared of a driver to make to the next level I mean I I think Pat Ward coming into it kid can drive oh, I absolutely. mean yeah, he, right. he's going to drive no matter if he was driving for Andretti or or Howdy and LaFleur race team or <laughs> whoever um but I, I, I don't want to see all these big-name teams in Indy Lights. And I, I see what you're saying there. Because like, uh, if you get Penske in Indy Lights, does it just become another Penske <clears throat> show? Right. Um, but I, I guess at the same same time, I guess I would like to see somewhere an investment made somehow into the Indy Lights. Because it is it is an interesting race. I mean, if you, if you ever watch it, which I do um, – they're they're fun races to watch, but there's only what sometimes seven eight cars out on the track. Oh, I thought there was more than that. Uh, not not I mean, come to the end of the race. I mean, after the, you got a couple wrecks that collected a couple. Because I know when uh, was it last year at the Grand Prix? No, I didn't go to Grand Prix last year. Year before that, in the Indy Lights when they ran there, there was probably twenty twenty five cars on the track. I'm gonna try to pull up the Indy Lights results from uh, Coda real quick. Um, cause I mean, when I'm paying attention to it, it doesn't seem like the the competition is really, uh, it, it's not, there's not a lot of it. And, and you would think for a, a feeder system, that's where you're, you would have more than, the the series above, I would think. Mike, I agree with that statement to some extent. They, they, they do have the best equipment, no doubt about it. But, but what, when I say that I think F1 drivers are better is because, you take and you look at the F1 drivers that have come from F1 into IndyCar and what they've done, but you look at, at guys that have went from here to F1 and look what they've done, I, I think the F1 drivers are, are producing better results than the IndyCar drivers. That's just my opinion. I mean, everybody has their own opinion on that, and I'm not knocking the IndyCar guys at all. I think they're great drivers. Um but but I do think the F1 drivers, to me, are a little bit better drivers, you know, just for the simple fact that the tracks they race on are all road courses and, and big road courses and pretty technical road courses. So, I mean, all in all, in my opinion, I think the F1 drivers are better drivers. But I'll leave it at that. Like I said, everybody has their own opinion on that and to each their own. I'd like to see them getting, uh, what is it, like a sports car, the uh, IMSA? Is that IMSA? IMSA? Yeah. Put put the put it do an Indy Carvers F1 IMSA race and let's let's put them out in the same thing. See who see who does it. There's there's some Indy car drivers and there's some F1 drivers in IMSA now. Well, I want I want those two out on the track. Just that I, I want to see I want to see you two the series go up. That'd be a, a little interesting pay per view. That's much better than McGregor versus Mayweather. Nah, don't put them in IMSA cars. <laughs> put them in carts. You know that I'm good with that. Just level the playing field. Don't you? Obviously, you can't run two different things there. Um, but I looked at it, and Indy Lights, each race is at 10 cars. Okay. So that's not enough. No, I mean, you definitely need more. But I, like I said, I don't think you need the Penske's and Ganassi's coming in there. But you could, you need to find somehow, some way to get some more teams in there. I don't know. 
I like what they're doing. I think IndyCar itself is making it competitive as far as what they do for the, the winner. The winner gets a, a spot in the next year's 500, um, a, a guaranteed spot. And then, uh, I mean, they, they give them a check and they, they're bumping them up. And you don't see like Nextel doing that with right. uh, the Monster Energy Series there. So Yeah, you're right there too, Mike. I mean, I uh, when it comes to F1, Americans aren't very liked. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. No, no. I mean, you know, you look where Michael Andretti went to F1. He he wasn't really welcomed, and uh, I believe he was Ayrton Senna's teammate. Was he? I believe I, so. I believe so. I believe it, Andretti was Senna's uh, McLaren. Okay, is that who? Yeah, it that's was, who Dan ran for. That's it was, who Mario the, ran it was for. the Marlboro cars. No, that's a, that's a Marlboro. classic <clears throat> car that I wish could be back on the track. Oh, those were great look. looking cars in F1 <laughs> and in any car. I mean, that that bright orange and white. Yeah, you, even go back to like knew, the Team Penske where it's a Team Penske. Car. Well, you know, in F1, you couldn't run like the cigarette sponsorships and stuff like that. They they come out and said you couldn't run those anymore. So McLaren, you know, instead of losing that sponsorship, they took all the Marlboro off the car. It still had the orange and white. Well, that's what Penske did too. With so it. you could still tell it was the Marlboro exactly. car. Exactly. It was the I same mean, color design yeah. and everything. Yeah. It just said team. I remember that team Penske mm -hmm. on the side there. Yeah. Those were good looking cars. Right. <laughs>